study of cross pollinated flower experiment 2 objective to study a cross pollinated flower hibiscus and identify and label its various parts materials required hibiscus flower forceps needles razor slide dissection microscope petri dish watch glass etc procedure 1 take a given flower and place it on a white paper to draw its diagram 2 study its smaller parts such as anther filament stigma etc using magnifying glass 3 study the various characteristics and record its features 4. Study the various whorls of the flower by removing the outermost whorls and display it in a petri dish. 5. Remove calyx and large bright red colored petals using forceps and display them. 6. After removing petals, androecium and gynoecium become visible and display them. 7. Cut a transverse section of the ovary and study it under dissecting microscope. Study the nature of placenta, number of locules and number of ovules in each locule. Observations The given flower, hibiscus, is observed for its various characteristics and parts. 1. Inflorescence Solitary axillary. 2. Flower. Bracteate, pedicellate, complete, perfect or bisexual, regular, actinomorphic, hypogynous, and scarlet red. 3. Epicalyx. 5 to 7. Green, free, encircling the calyx. 4. Calyx. 5 sepals. Gamosepalus, green. Velvet estivation. 5. Corolla. 5 petals. Polypetalous. Red in color. United at the base and adnate to the staminal tube. Twisted estivation. 6. Androecium. Numerous stamens. Monodelphus. Anthers free. Monothicus. Extrors. And basifixed. Epipetalous. 7. Gynoecium, pentacarpillary, syncarpus, superior ovary, pentalocular with many ovules in each locule, exile placentation, style surrounded by staminal tubule, divided into five discoid scarlet red stigma. Result The given flower, Hibiscus china rose, has been identified for its various parts and well-labeled diagrams have been drawn. Precautions 1. The flower should be studied carefully. 2. Each whorl of the flower should be gently and carefully separated. 3. A very thin section of the ovary should be cut. 4. The section of the ovary should be mounted in glycerin to prevent drying. 5. New blade should be used to cut the section of ovary. 6. The section of the ovary should not be oblique.